Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's just going to be a quick <laughs> rundown of an experiment that I've been wanting to do for a while and I have permission uh, from a wigs owner that this is, this is okay. So um, when we style our wigs and spray them down real good, we coat them with four to five layers of hairspray, sometimes six or seven depending, and for the most part that's fine. But if you have a wig with really crazy thick layers that goes like over a foot away from the head, there is a chance that it's going to droop in time. Um, so <laughs> today's video is all about spray painting your wig. Now I don't know if any of you have attempted spray painting a wig before or even acrylic painting a wig before, but anytime you put real paint, like not dye or ink, in a wig, it's not going to move anymore. So I am here to prove that if you spray paint your wig when you're done styling it, that it's never going to move again, hopefully. That is the goal, or at least it'll be a lot harder to. I did do something similar to this years ago, and I could set a box on my wigs, and they would just spring back to life. I haven't really needed to do that lately, because the only reason it ended up with spray paint in it in the first place is I was trying to make it look frosted. So. Let's begin with this weird experiment that's probably, hopefully, going to work. been hairsprayed it feels like really kind of stiff some areas it feels kind of like how the hairspray did whereas others it feels like really kind of thick but when I try to kind of gently pull apart the spikes they're staying in place so now for the ultimate test trying to simulate movement so we're just gonna pay special attention to the spikes and hopefully they don't start coming undone so like it is gonna wiggle because it's just pinned on but for the most part like nothing's coming apart which normally like even when we put a ton of hairspray on these things it will eventually start to kind of just break apart from the roughness if you shake it hard enough so let's try <laughs> I'm sorry Tristan we're gonna try some head banging Nothing is coming apart. This is way harder than he's going to be moving his head. That is awesome. All right. So essentially, if you have a wig that is spiked and it doesn't have to be spiked this big, if you like how it looks and you never want to have to style it again to fix it, spray paint it. Now, whatever spray paint you use, you're going to want to make sure that it bonds to plastic which is what I used on this one. But if you don't have like a generic colored wig and you don't want to mess with the color of it, say it has an ombre even, or it's like two-tone, you can get clear. And it can be a satin, it could be a gloss, it could even be glitter. But the point is you add some plastic friendly spray paint and you can do this all day and nothing's gonna come apart. I would set a box on this to further illustrate my point, but I think that might be pushing it too far since it's not mine. So thanks for joining me on this little educational should I spray paint my wig video. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.